Finally, Iceland. Known as the land of ice and fire, cold wind and hot steam, Iceland is a dance of the blue and the red, and somewhere in between, the beautiful green. My name is Marcus, and this is my lovely wife, Aisha. And here are the best 20 trails in Iceland. Let's go! Oh, one more thing. You might be asking why these trails out of the 500 plus. Here are the reasons why. First, they are located close to the ring road, so no highlands, no west fjords. Second, they are available with a normal car, no SUV, no 4x4 needed. Third, they are uh, short hikes, all of them are up to 10 kilometers. And last but not least, these are the top rated trails from the All Trails app that I'm using. I tried to squeeze the video into 20 minutes, sorry if it takes longer. No, actually I'm not sorry. It must be really exceptionally good content. And we will include one really special spot which you can find almost anywhere on the internet. And at the end of the video I will also give you some tips out of our experience here in Iceland. Okay, let's go! The Thingvellir National Park is part of the Golden Circle, which, next to other spots, features an old cathedral, the Geysir, and one of the most powerful waterfalls in Europe. The park has multiple parking areas, pay once and then park anywhere. This trail is by far the least impressive of our selection, but it's a good warm-up for what's to come. And if you take it as the first one, it will still be pretty impressive. The full loop around the park is 10 kilometers long and will take you past the Oxarafoss waterfall, which we won't show here because it can't keep up with the next one. The Glimmer waterfall trail leads through a cave across the river. on the top, another river crossing and then back along the same canyon. Or the more boring but direct route that we took. One of the highlights is the Kirkjufell mountain, or Church mountain. It can be hiked or climbed, but we arrived too late to make it to the top. Don't climb when wet. Yeah, it has rained today. There have been some fatal accidents in the recent years, so do this only in good weather.
how far I will go. The drone will go further. Reaching the north of the island, we recommend to make a detour and take Road 76. It's one of the most scenic coastal roads you'll find in Iceland. It will also take you to Grafarkirke, the oldest church in Iceland. The current building is from the 17th century, but the turf church is mentioned already some 800 years ago. Imagine baby 800 years ago, the first sermon in his church. Maybe it was about a psalm, like... I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Maybe not, who knows? God only knows. Okay, let's go. After having tea in Fjallabygd, a beautiful fisher town, you'll reach the special spot that I mentioned before. Yeah, it has to do with whales. Located in an old herring factory, the Streetan Dive Center offers you to bring out into the fjords and see whales close up. <laughs> and even more. to see the rest of this incredible adventure you'll have to watch the full video available in the description below The crater is so huge, it looks much smaller than it actually is, it's super huge. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, next one. On the way to the next trail, you can take a stop at Huerier a geothermal spot with bubbling pools of mud and steaming fumaroles. Okay, the road is blocked by snow. It looks like it's impassable. Yeah, the whole spot was covered in snow, but it's definitely worth visiting. It looks something like this. Mm. 
To get to the Studlagil Canyon Trail, make sure you take the first turn left and park the car here. The hike starts as a simple countryside walk, but the end is worth the patience. If you don't do the hike and come by car, you will land on the other side of the canyon and you will miss the whole beauty because it's on that side of the canyon and uh, from the platform you won't be able to see that, so do the hike. To get to the beautiful Westerhorn mountain, you need to pay an entrance fee. It includes access to an old Viking village. It was created for a film that was never shot. We arrived around midnight. It was extra spooky. You can do the hike around the black sand beach from where everyone takes a photo. Thank you. 
Okay, the next one is the next one is the Hangandifos Mulaglufur Kenyan. <laughs> Mulaglufur Glufur Kenyan Kenyan. Icelanders, your names are so difficult. Sorry for that, but I think Icelanders won't watch this video anyway, so doesn't matter. Actually, write in the comment uh, from which country you are watching. Let's see if Icelanders are watching too, huh? Listen what one user is writing on the All Trails app. I honestly believe that this should be a highly restricted area, even maybe forbidden. The nature is so beautiful and the vegetation so fragile that protection is needed for what is going to become soon a top destination. My advice is take it off your app. Yeah, I agree. Don't visit this place. Unless you show respect to nature. This will be epic, again, but let's put some epic music on, let's go! Beautiful, huh? Next one. At this here lives of the mountain, Star Wars Rogue One was shot. The historical promontory trail leads to the grave of one of the two first settlers of Iceland. Tirholai was closed 
its beautiful cliff surrounding a black sand beach. But the nearby Rainy's Fiara beach was open, and this beach is notorious for its dangerous sneaker waves. episode will be special it's gonna be like walking on a moon or being in a dream What was it about? Huh? Cogafoss hiking trail leads past several more beautiful waterfalls. Sally Lance Foss is well known, but its smaller brother is the real deal here. Glufafrost is the secret waterfall, much less people know about. And from those we met there, only a few knew that you can actually get in.
Okay, before the last trail, here are the five tips. Do the ring road clockwise. This will take less nerves when driving on the rather narrow coastal roads. Since you'll spend much time in the car, a phone mount is essential. Next time, we'll pack one. Try these legendary pastels. They're made of Icelandic moss. There are heavy winds in Iceland, so whenever possible, park your car facing the wind. Speaking of wind, our rental car got damaged because of it, and we had to pay an extra 800 euros. So consider upgrading your car insurance coverage for collision damage. And now, the grand finale. What an epic ending. Oh man, this was incredible. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it was useful, hit the like button, subscribe uh, for more videos. These were 20 really exceptional hikes. If we missed one, maybe there are some Icelandic users uh, watching this. Uh, let us know in the comment section. Okay, are you ready for the wrap up? Let's go. this green dress on it was so beautiful and you were dancing what no i wasn't yeah you were it was so beautiful